In this lesson, we'll take an introductory look at the Analyze an Issue writing task. Here you're presented with a certain issue, and you must explore the complexities of that issue, form an opinion, and then defend your position clearly and convincingly. Here's an example of a typical issue essay prompt. The top part introduces the issue, which is whether or not organizations benefit the most from a clear hierarchy in its organizational structure. The directions ask you to write an essay discussing the extent to which you agree or disagree with the statement. Here's another essay prompt. The issue here is whether or not schools should be responsible for teaching ethical and social values. Here the directions tell you to write an essay discussing which view most closely aligns with your own position and explain your reasoning for the position you take. Now it's important to note that all of the possible issue topics that you will encounter on test day are publicly available on the GRE website. As of January 2013, there were 149 such issue topics. Now this number may change in the future, but the good thing is that the test makers will continue to make these issue topics publicly available. Now with each issue topic, you're given a set of instructions that will direct your essay. In the two essay prompts we examined earlier, the instructions are right here. Now in total there are six different sets of instructions, but they all pretty much say the same thing. They all tell you to write a response discussing and defending your position on the issue, and for the most part they tell you to spend some time discussing the alternative position. So in general, you're asked to write an essay defending your position while also addressing the other side of the issue. Given this, we're going to use one strategy that can be used for all essay prompts. Now as you read the essay prompt, it's important to keep in mind that there is no correct position for this type of essay. So it does not matter what side of the issue you choose. What matters is that you develop an opinion, provide concrete examples to support your ideas, and communicate your position clearly and effectively. Now the general strategy for handling the issue essay is as follows. First, brainstorm points for both sides of the issue. Finding points for both sides of the issue is important for two reasons. First, you want to choose the position that you can defend the easiest, and this will likely be the position that you can support with the most points. Second, even though you'll be defending one side of the issue, you'll need to discuss one or two points for the other side. We'll talk about this aspect shortly. So once you've listed points for each side of the issue, your next step is to choose the position that you feel is easiest to defend. Next, identify one or two opposing points and find rebuttals for these points. You're going to use these rebuttal points to demonstrate that you have thoughtfully considered both sides of the issue. At this point, once you've identified your discussion points, write the essay in the predetermined format. We'll discuss templates for your essays in an upcoming lesson. Finally, once you've written the essay, be sure to proofread it to ensure that there are no glaring errors or omissions. Okay, so that's a general overview of the steps involved in writing the Analyze an Issue essay. In the next lesson, we'll learn some tips for generating discussion points for each side, and after that, we'll examine the essential elements of a good essay template.